from Hollywood, it's the Tom Mikey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's never kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. So often on the Tom Likas Show, we tell you about things that, well... Later turn out to be not only true, but scientifically provable. I just love that stuff. I totally love it. And we have a story here that, uh, once again, it was sent in by many of you listeners who've been combing the newspapers and combing the Internet, always looking for relevant topics. Here, once again, scientific evidence of something I've been telling you. Remember, I don't claim when I make these statements to have empirical evidence. I've got a lifetime of experience. And my opinions are based on that lifetime of experience. But it's happening more and more that I make a statement on the air. I state an opinion about the way things are. And later on, we get empirical evidence that backs it up scientifically. And that's what this is all about. This from a website called LiveScience.com. Says here, in the land of romance, ladies might do well to hold on to your hat. Shut their traps. while men can continue to blab. That's the message of new research, revealing that both men and women judge harshly couples in which the guy is a timid talker and the, I'm quoting here, gal dominates conversations and shows assertiveness. The scientists suggest gendered stereotypes are to blame for study participants' negative views of couples breaking the mold. So what? I don't worry about what stereotypes people have or how people should view people. I worry about the way we are viewed in this case. I don't care about what should happen, what happened, could happen. I worry about what does happen. Lead author Jennifer Sellers, assistant professor of psychology at Green Mountain College in Vermont, said, We reasoned because men are expected to be in a position of power over women. Couples in which the woman is verbally dominating the man would be rated more harshly than couples that adhere to the traditional role. says here in this story that past research has found such mismatched couples, that is, those that violate gender role stereotypes, tend to be less satisfied. That's truer than you know, and I'll explain in a moment. says here in the current study, Where'd you get this information, Tom? Where'd you get this from? I don't believe it, because I don't know where you get it from. It was published in the October issue of the journal sex roles. The researchers investigated whether gender role expectations play a role in the dissatisfaction. 
Sellers and her colleagues had 95 students, about equally split between men and women, watch either four videos of married couples in which the woman was verbally assertive or four videos with a verbally assertive man. Participants rated each actor's competence, likability, and desirability as a friend. Here's what the actors in the four videos did. The verbally assertive spouse discusses a conflict between him or herself and a family member. The more submissive partner causes the couple to be late for an engagement. The more submissive partner discusses a conflict with a family member and how the partner doesn't express anger and instead just says nothing. And finally, the couple is in a kitchen and the more submissive partner gets angry. Instead of saying anything, he or she tosses down a dish towel and leaves the room. Both men and women were more critical of the couple. When the female partner was verbally assertive, they also viewed the submissive man as less competent than their loquacious counterparts. Look it up. But when the roles switched and women bowed out of talking while men stand, st stepped up to the plate, participants reported liking the couple and they gave high competence scores to the man. Whether or not we like to admit it, Seller said, we take heed of gender stereotypes, and these societal limits can hurt both men and women alike. A recent study found that women are expected to miss more work than men, a societal view that they say could foster workplace discrimination. Seller said we have these gender stereotypes where we expect men to be dominant and assertive. And if they're not out there speaking and taking charge of situations, they're accused of not being a man. So there's your story. It doesn't matter what people should do, would do, or could do. We in this society don't like it when a woman is dominant over a man verbally. And when I said this is truer than you know, I had one particular relationship with somebody, and the people who know me know who I'm talking about, and she just would not ever shut up, ever. And not only would she not shut up, she could never hear what anybody else said, not me, not anybody else. Why didn't you tell me we were... Yeah, I, I told you that earlier. No, you never told me that. Yeah, I did. You weren't listening to me. I was listening to you. On and on and on she went. This was somebody who, when you would be telling her something, you could see her eyes darting back and forth, waiting for you to shut up so she could then say what she wanted to say. Had no interest in what you wanted to say. At all. And she is the person for whom the... The shut up shows I do is uh, uh, that's what who they're intended for because uh, that's what I thought when I was with her. Shut up, shut up, please shut up, please shut up. Now we have again another scientific study that says, you know what? I'm not the only one who feels this way. Science appears to indicate that the men get high marks when the women shut up and the men do the talking. And by the way, that's borne out also in the era, area of talk radio. How many women even do this for a living? People don't want to hear women talking, telling the callers to shut up. They want the men talking and telling the women and the men to shut up. They want the men to be dominant. That is the way it is. That's it, period. I know a lot of women don't subscribe to this, don't like it, and will deny that any of this is accurate or valid or doesn't say it doesn't matter, but it does matter. People reported higher satisfaction with their relationships when the woman shuts up. There it is in black and white. Do you have a problem with this? Come, come. Like it, like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866.
Do you have kids? By design, I do not. You don't? By design. By design? Yes. By a dictionary. Stupid bitch. What's that supposed to mean? Read a book by design. Never heard that phrase before? Read a goddamn book, you illiterate bitch. It's the Tom Likey Show. The Tom Likey Show. 1 800 5 800 Tom. Sign Devin Gavin at town. Couples are happier. People perceive you better if when you're in a couple, the woman shuts up. Scientific evidence. Danny on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. All right. Um, a comment I wanted to make is I know you're not a believer, but uh, the, the, what you're trying to say is not only uh, reality, but it's biblical. Uh, to give an example, at church, um, we had a, uh, a woman that actually became a pastor, and uh, a lot of people were pissed off about that, and not only the men, but the women, too. They Even the women wanted a male pastor and not a female pastor, and uh, that's backed up not by science, but uh, by God. <laughs> Which amazes me that uh, women are able to become uh, female pastors because... Um, the Bible certainly doesn't seem to say that uh, God wants women doing that. Not at all. But, you know, in this day and age when they want equal rights, uh, that's fine. But at the same time, uh, what's great about it is that women, even the women, will not accept uh, female postures. Women don't like uh, female anchor people on TV. They don't like female radio personalities. That's just the way it is. Yep. Just reality. It's the same thing as far as you know, women will say this and that, but at the end of the day, no one wants to be with uh, with a guy that just yes, honey, you know, yes, ma'am. And women like you know, it's attractive to a woman when a man takes charge and takes control. There's a lot of comfort in that, and I don't care what women say. That's the bottom line. Yep. You are absolutely right about that. I, I thank you for that call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. We now have scientific evidence that women should just shut up. Clint, hello. Father, it's an honor to talk to you. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. Hey, listen, um, I was at the bar with my buddies the other night, and we were getting ready to uh, leave. And this girl walks over to me, and she said, give me your phone number. I'm going to take you out tomorrow night. And she's probably about an eight, you know, not the hottest girl in the world. But I say, okay, I give her my phone number, and then everyone kind of leaves. I didn't really get a chance to talk to her. So um, she takes me out the other night, um, and we were having a good time, having some drinks. And I think I said about three words the whole time. I was just waiting for a chance to get in there and say anything. And I know you always say keep your mouth shut, and that's what I did. And I took her home and did the deed. And um, she wants to go out with me again, but uh, I don't think I can handle that. i, I got to wear earplugs or something. I don't know. I understand. You just want them to shut up. And now... Now we actually have scientific proof that people who are in a couple where the man talks and the woman shuts up are much happier. You know what? I would believe it. I would definitely believe it. And uh, there's no reason why this chick shouldn't have a boyfriend or be married or anything. I mean, really hot, you know, drives a nice car, has a nice job. I mean, she basically told me her life story. But after that one day, man, I am done. I can't take it. I don't blame you. Yeah, well, hey, buddy, uh, will you t please take me out with a bong hit? Here you go. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Liz on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Liz. Hi, I just wanted to tell all your listeners, like, they need to believe the statistics. I've been married for 10 years, and the only reason my marriage has been successful is because I know what my role is as a wife. Let me tell you, my husband gets home at 1030. By then, I have two kids. By then, my kids are in bed. His dinner is served. 
and he watches his Sports Central, ESPN. Meantime, I take a nap because I go into work at 6. I take a nap. When he's done with his dinner, watching his sports highlights, he wakes me up, we have sex, and it works for both of us. And I, I have a chemistry degree. I have a BS, and I work for a clinical lab. And for the women that say that they could have a family and a career, that's not right. They have to pick something. I could have easily made maybe $30,000 more a year, but I don't because my husband comes first and I take care of my children. And that's the bottom line. These women have to stop trying to get have everything. You know, they just have to either attend to their husbands if they're married, and if not, then pick their career, but they can't have it all. And they have to know what their role is. My husband is the man, and I am the wife. And he is happy, as can be. And our kids are happy because both of our parents are happy. So I think you're doing a great job, Tom. Keep it up. I hope you're still on when my son gets older because he definitely needs to hear your advice. I'm working on it, baby. Thank you. Thank you for the call. Appreciate it, Liz. Marissa on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. I'm one of those wives who has a husband who um, never says anything. Um, I take care of everything from the finances to the house to work to everything. And uh, I kind of wanted your advice. Um, how can I get my husband to just man up? You can't. Uh, you chose him. That's your deal. I, I thought it would be really cool to have somebody that I can basically tell. I mean, because I tell him, yes, you can buy this. No, you cannot. Um, you know, and it just, uh, I wish I could have somebody who would just stand up and say, you know, I'm the boss. <laughs> oh, that's and, what I tell guys all the time. You've got to step up and be the boss. I mean, I don't want him to step all over me, but at the same time, I really wish that he would just kind of speak up. And he's just really quiet and really shy. And, you know, it just it gets a little old. But you picked him, dear. Yeah, I get, I, you know, it's just, I'm just so used to being the dominant one all the time. But it's just, it's kind of stressful. Uh, well, I understand that, dear. But that's the stress that... Uh, that men are built to take in most cases, and uh, you married a puss, and you thought that was good, too. Yeah, I did, because my dad was a man's man, and, you know, I didn't want a man like my dad. And Yes, I wanted you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You wanted a man like your dad. I guess I wanted a man like my dad, but I didn't want to be like my mom. <laughs> That's different. Yeah. Well, especially when it comes to saying that word on the air, which you can't do. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Tom. Um, uh, talk to you later, Tom. You're doing a good job, and um, I'll call you later. Bye-bye. Uh, thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Scientific evidence now that women should shut up. Jerry on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. This is Jerry. How you doing? Great. Great. I, I, I'm calling. I hate... I hate women on the radio, and I definitely hate them even more. Uh, Nancy Grace, I hate that woman. Oh, is I hate there, her voice. By the I way, everything about, everything about so, her. I hate I, women by more. the way, somebody got her pregnant. Really? What an it, idiot. It, wasn't <laughs> she just in childbirth recently? Wow, I didn't know about that. What um, air fool he has to hear every night. Oh, my wow. God. How does a man stand it? I know who that man is. Wow, he's in it for the money, and hey, good for him. If he can take it and get paid for it, then so be it. But man, I hate that woman. <laughs> I, that show drives me insane. I, I, can, I can never watch it. Never. I, I flick for every time I go past that channel sometimes. If there's there's another newscaster, I can take a little bit of her. Uh, she's on there. I, sometimes I can take her, but every time Nancy Grace is on, I have to go right by it, right to something else, anything else but her. I'm, but even, amazed like, that, I'm even amazed that women could stand to watch that. I don't even know. I don't even. My girl hates it. My woman hates that. She hates her. She hates her high pitched southern accent that she has. And she's mostly talking about nothing. She's just blabbering on and on about nothing and about women's rights and women this, that, the other. So I mean, I, I, you're you're right a hundred percent. And men need to step up and be men in their relationships and they need to be men in general because no woman's going to run it like a man can run it. It's absolutely true. All right, Tom. I'm gonna let you get out of here. You have a good one, man. Thank you, Jerry. Appreciate the call, Tom, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. 
Hey, you know what? I had a girl like that one time, and she's my ex-wife now. Of course. I mean, we would go out to dinner, and my friends would look at me like, man, can you put a sock in her, shove something in her mouth to shut her up or something? <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I don't know, man. I'm trying, just trying to get the heck away from her. So, man, it, it turned out I had to get away from her. Divorce is gone, man. It's it's over. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. It, it was just a tragedy, man. When every, t- every time we went out, man, she just did not shut up. A tragedy? I mean, it, it was it was a mess. I mean, when your own friends ask you if she ever if she ever shuts up, I mean, I, that's when it gets Oh, bad. boy. Oh, yikes. So how did you react when you dumped her? How did she react? Yes. Uh, oh, man, it was a blow-up. Of course, you know, man, we got kids and all, but I mean, even the kids think it's a better deal. Wow. So, yeah, it, she reacted pretty harsh, but you know what? My life is a lot more peaceful now. I'll bet that's true. You're happier now? I'm a lot happier now. I got me a nice girl, takes care of me, does what I need to do. Mm. She takes care of business. That's all I got to say. And she shuts up? Oh, she she doesn't say a word unless it needs to be said. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right. Well, Tom, thank you for that. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Rich on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, this is Likas Show, right? Uh, no, it's Larry Elder's show. Larry Elder's? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was the Tom Likas Show. No. Okay. All right. You want to hear my story? Ah, uh, you want to tell it to Larry? Tell it to Larry. Larry Elder. Larry Elder. I thought I was going to talk to Tom Likas. No, there's the Larry Elder show. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. I got a problem. All right. I just moved into this town, and I got a really great job, and I'm staying in these hotels. I got it's a, a tragedy. Party. I got to stay in these hotels by the week, right? And I'm saving up to get this apartment. But I met this girl, and she's got a really nice apartment. She's got a big screen TV. Everything in her place is really nice. But she wants me to move in. And I'm thinking if I move in with this girl, it's just going to be a nightmare because then she's going to be nagging, I want this and I want that. And, and you can't watch football. you got to watch these, these love shows that I want to watch. And I'm just in a dilemma whether I should move in with this chick or just not move in. Uh, and you want to tell this to Larry? Yeah. All right, uh, hold on. It's uh, Talk Radio 790 KBC. It's the Larry Elder Show. Rich. You're on with Larry Elder. Hello. Yeah, I got a problem whether I should move in with this chick or not. All right, I'm listening. You know, I'm a, I'm a long time listener. This is the first time that I called, and I know I know you keep saying don't move in with these women because they're going to take your money. Oh and no, I, I don't say that. I don't say that. Tom Likas says that. All right. Well, anyway, though. You know, I'm thinking if I move in, it's just going to be a nightmare. I'm just going to be hit coming home every day. I'm going to have to listen to her talk, talk and talk. But she's got a nice car. She's got a nice apartment. You know, she's got a lot of money. You know, I'm thinking that would be a really good deal. Uh, why don't you just keep your own apartment? And then if you move in with her, you can see if it works. And if it doesn't, you can move back out. So you think I should move in with her? No, I don't think you should. But if... Uh... If you're concerned about the money and getting the benefit of it, why don't you uh, keep your place and move into her place anyway? See, I'm staying in these motels, and I'm, they're paying them by the week while I'm, I'm working in the spot. Oh, I see. And why are you uh, such a loser that you live in motels? Oh, because I just moved into town. Um, I was living in Las Vegas, and my boss asked me if I would fly out to L.A. and work in for him, and I did. So I just got into town, and I just haven't came up with enough scratch to get a nice apartment. So when did you meet this woman? I met her from a friend from a, uh, an apartment complex. How long ago? 
God, it's only... Hey, watch your mouth. This is the Larry Elder Show. Hey, I hear you. I hear you. But no, she wants me moving... You can't say stuff there. like that on KBC. You can't do it. She wants me to pay half her rent. What would Bill O'Reilly say? Uh, Bill he O'Reilly? Wants, she wants you to pay half the rent? Yes. Why would you want to, if she's got all the money, why would you want to do that? I know. I don't want to. Then you, no, no. If she wants you to pay the rent, you're out. No, I should move in because I, I should move in because I'd have to pay, but it's already like 600 a month. She's got I don't care how much it is. Then you're beholden to her. All right. Can't you just have sex with her? Yeah, the sex is pretty good. All right, so just come over to her place, have sex when you need it, and then get out. And not move in. Correct. All right, so it would be a mistake to move in. Yes, and use a condom every time, please. All right, you got it. Because she will lie and say she's on birth control. Don't believe it. All right, all right, thanks a lot. All right, thanks for calling KABC. I appreciate it. That call is a tragedy, too. Tragedy. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. More of your telephone calls are coming up. Stay right there. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, I have big, beautiful breasts, and I will use them every chance I get. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood... It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you so much for tuning in. And here we are with scientific evidence that women should just shut up. I've been saying it forever. And look, it's true. Let's continue with your telephone calls here at one 800 800 tom Alexis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hola, Papa. Alexis. <laughs> yes, I love your show and I love you. I want to say that I do agree. I am Latina and um, I've seen it growing up with my grandmothers. One was from Jalisco and she completely followed the rules I, you know, serve my man i shut up when he says it and then my other grandmother on the other hand she was americanized her relationship was completely effed up because she always wanted to argue and always wanted to talk over him and he would always just be shut up you know and after that of course he started cheating on her those kind of things so i learned and i've seen it now i'm experiencing it my man he's he's a man's man and he gives me a cue, just plain and simple, just shut up. And then he'll bend me over and makes it all right. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, yes, I, I completely agree. And recently I had to go to court for something, but when I needed to get an attorney, I said, I don't want a woman, I want a man, because I've seen how they operate, how they work. So you're completely right. And, of course, you have proof <laughs> Well, I, I, as so often happens on this program, I tell you something, and then later on we get the scientific evidence to prove it. Right. So, I completely agree. You keep doing what you're doing. But I did want to know, after you pass, are you going to have some kind of tapes or something on sale for our kids that aren't born yet? <laughs> Wouldn't be I a bad idea. I, I probably I think should. should. Yeah, yes. I think you should. That's right. So this will live on forever. Yes, I, w I hope that it can. I know you won't, but hopefully your teachings will. Exactly. <laughs> Thank All you, right. Alexis. Thank you. Can you take me out uh, Kobe style, please? Of course I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. What's up, Tom? What's going Not on? Not much. Doing okay. 
just want to say I enjoy your show. I've been listening for about three months now, and I agree with you 100%. Women, you need to be to speak when you're spoken to, period. All right, I'm a firm believer. I'm only 24, but the reason why I've lost a lot of females in my past relationships is because they tell me, go find a woman from the 60s if you, if you want the certain stuff that I want. I love that. And uh, how does she react to that? Uh, she, don't, she don't like it. You know, if I'm going out to sea and I come back from out to sea, you know, I expect, you know, saying booty. I expect that and I expect my dinner on the table. I expect the house to be clean. You know, I, I expect for things to be taken care of, you know? I think a lot of men feel that way. You know, it's a long day out to sea. You know, I've been out for like a week or two, you know. I pull in the port and, you know, all I want is, you know, a nice piece of butt, you know? Exactly. Is there anything wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, okay, because, yeah, because I was going to see a, a marriage counselor or something because I was figured that I was doing something wrong, you know? And I, I'm just a firm believer. I'm from the South. I firm believe in uh, a woman taking care of her responsibilities. Speak when you're spoken to. Have the dinner ready. Clean the house. And that, that's it. Or I've get been, out. Uh, or get out. Exactly, exactly. I've been to 10, you know, 10, 11 different countries, okay? And there's not one time, even if a female looks at a guy wrong or whatever and the guy's with her, you know, I've I seen, I seen a lady get snatched out by her hair out of a restaurant because she looked at another guy while they're eating in this one country. You know, and, and I mean, that's the way it should be, you know. It's, it's re about respect, and it's about, you know, knowing your place and in life. Thank you, Jeff, for the call. I appreciate it. Can you flush me out, Tom? Flush you? Of course I can. Lewis on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Lewis. What's up, Tom? Hey, 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 stop. Yeah, you're on the air in eight seconds. You've already cursed. We're on the air. Oh, okay. You can't say the F word, the S word, the C word, the T word, or the P word, so forget it. Okay, okay, okay. What about this? What do you think about these girls? They just love talking on the phone, you know what I mean? Like, every day, like for hours. I'll, it's not particularly appealing to me, uh, but are you telling me you have a girlfriend, Lewis? Yes. Well, you're 21. Why yes. do you have a girlfriend? Yes. I said, the answer to that was not yes or no. Uh, I said, you have, you're 21 years old. Why do you have a girlfriend? Well, it's not a girlfriend. It's just like, I met this girl like two months ago, man, and then I've been talking to her. But she just talks too much. And so you see other girls, too? Yes, I see other girls. Too. And she dates other guys as well? What is it? And she dates other guys, too. All right, that's the, You know what? You don't have manners enough to stay on the air. I can't keep you on the air. Can't do it. Can't do it. Jesus. The guy can't go a minute without saying the F word. 1-800-5800-TOM. Alec on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Do we really need a scientist to tell us the girls talk too much? Well, uh, clearly, uh, since the girls will never read a scientific publication, it may make no difference anyway. But it's not just that they talk too much. The study says more than that. That we have more respect for other people. If we see a couple and the, and the man is the prominent one and the woman shuts up, we see them more positively. All right. Bizarre calls this hour. Very weird. Kim in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yeah, you know, I think that women need to realize that the way you tell us to take care of their husband, our husbands, that's what we need to do. And I don't consider myself weak because I take care of my husband. Dinner's on the table when he comes home. The kids are, you know, calmed down. I'm dressed nicely. And I don't consider myself something out of the 50s. You know, I consider myself a strong woman. I respect my husband, and he respects me back. And women need to do that. If they want a husband that loves them and respects them or a boyfriend, they need to take care of that. Well, I, I think they better get the hint because guys are voting with their feet. More and more guys just saying, that's it, I can't take it anymore. 
And and they should. And they should. If a woman can't take care of her husband and vice versa, you know, then they need to find someone they can. And again, I don't consider myself weak because I take care of my husband. And um, I respect him. I respect his needs. I respect what a man needs. And you take care of that, and he will be around. Well, uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, you got a lot of women. We did the show where we were talking about birth control. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to women about whether they not wanted to prevent a birth. And there was one woman who used no birth control. She said, it's the man's job. He should be using a condom. Like, well, we're not talking about what the man should be doing. We're talking about do you want to prevent pregnancy? And they don't want to present, prevent pregnancy. That's right. That's exactly. Exactly. No, I'm happily married. I've been happily married for 14 years, and it's because I take care of my man. He's not going anywhere, and I'm not cocky about it. I just know because I take care of him. So, yeah, women need to listen to you as well as men. And to keep your man around, you got to keep him. You know, you got to keep him in the house. And, you know, let him go out and have his fun, but you need to take care of him so he doesn't want to go anywhere. So. Makes sense to me. More women should learn that. You know what I'm saying? I, definitely. I, I can't understand that they think that, you know, they want to be cocky, they want to be smart, and, you know, and they think their man's going to put up with it, and they're not. They're not. I, I don't. I think we have a great marriage, and I think that you offer what you offer to men is an option. You know, if, you don't have to be married now, but if you are you need to find someone that's going to take care of you. And, um, you know, I think you're doing a great service. My son is nine. When he gets to age, he is definitely going to listen to you. Definitely. Perfect. So I, you keep on doing it. So can you take me out with a bong hit? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. We now have scientific evidence that women should shut their traps. Uh, is that Latasha? Latasha? Oh, great! You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I actually wanted to say how some guys talk about themselves nonstop. Oh, I mean, darling, I've darling, darling, uh, darling. Let me hold on a second. Hold it. on a second. I, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. This study doesn't disagree with you. It doesn't okay. say that men don't talk too much. It says that people like it better when the man does the talking, not the woman. Oh, no. I find it annoying and irritating. I don't want to sit right there and listen to all the stuff he has to say. And it's just so, it's a turnoff. It's like cocky. It's a big, huge turnoff. I'm a very sexual girl, so usually if I'm attracted to you and I'm like, hey, let's get to it, I don't want to sit right here and talk to you about it or talk about talk about how you look. I see how you look. I see that you're attractive. I don't want to know anything else about you. That's it, you know? Some guys, they just talk way too much, and I know women, they also talk a lot too as well. But men, I think they have a bigger problem with talking. I'm not, again, they don't, this study they don't want to hear the woman talk, but they this, want to talk about themselves. This study doesn't talk about whether men talk too much. What it talks about is how other people feel about men and women talking. And okay. what they don't like is when you have a couple and the woman talks more than the man. Okay, so and it's men it? and by the way, it's men and women who feel this way. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I agree with that then. But, I mean, I think it's an equal thing. I don't think just women talk the most being in the relationship. I mean, the guy obviously got with her for a reason. Didn't bother them in the beginning. And so... Well, because a man doesn't hear a word a woman says until after he's gotten in her pants. And then and only then do we begin to hear what you girls are saying. Thank you so much for the call. The Tom Likas Show.